A rocket has lifted off from California on a mission to deliberately smash a spacecraft into an asteroid. NASA's DART project will test whether it's possible to knock an asteroid off collision course with the Earth. It will target a rock which is 11 million kilometres away. The object poses no threat to Earth, but we'll have to wait 10 months to find out if the missile hits the target. Our science correspondent Rebecca Morell reports. Three, two, one. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART. Blasting off into space for the start of a 7 million mile journey and a first for NASA. This is the DART spacecraft and it's heading for an asteroid to crash into it and knock it off course. This rock doesn't pose any danger to our planet, but this is a test of technology for any future threats. The reason we're doing this is in case we ever discover an asteroid actually headed towards Earth, we want to know that we can use this technique to change its orbit so that it does not impact Earth. NASA is targeting a small asteroid called Dimorphos, which is orbiting around a larger space rock. The spacecraft, travelling at 13,000 miles an hour, will fly into the small asteroid, leaving an impact crater up to 20 metres wide. But this should also give the rock a kick, which will speed up its orbit. And this can be monitored from the Earth to see if it's worked. All you really need is a nudge because the distances you're going and the speeds you're going, a tiny change in direction can result in a huge change in how far it's going to miss the Earth. And that could be vital. A 160 metre wide rock like Dimorphos could be catastrophic for populated areas. Bigger asteroids that are kilometres across have the potential to devastate the planet. The hope is this mission will show us if it's possible to stop future collisions. The spacecraft will arrive at its destination next autorm. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News. Stage separation. Well, I've been speaking to Dr. Becky Smathurst, an astrophysicist from the University of Oxford, about the mission. The launch was very exciting, I think, as any rocket launch still is. It was launched on a, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which is one of the, the reusable rockets, so that the first stage of it actually flips over and lands itself on a platform in the middle of the ocean, which I think is an incredible feat of engineering. And it was great to see that the, the DART mission, the spacecraft, was launched without a hitch uh, and should be on its way to this asteroid that we should, again, repeat, is not a danger to Earth. I feel like I need a big hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy don't panic side with this story because i think what's fantastic about it is that you know we now have a plan if this was ever the case in the future that it was an asteroid that would be a threat to earth and a, a plan helps me sleep better at night <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely definitely not a threat for now but possibly one for the future how long does this kind of mission take in the planning and, and how do they choose this asteroid which is some way away yeah, I mean, years in the planning to get this off the ground. It's actually going to take 10 months, the spacecraft, to actually get to this asteroid. And that's just because of sort of the intricate dance of everything's moving in the solar system. So you're not shooting at a, a still target, you're shooting at a moving target. Uh, and when it gets there, it's actually going to crash into this asteroid at very high speed. The spacecraft is about 500 kilograms. And essentially what it'll do is act as the cue ball in a game of pool or snooker, you know, when you fire it at the colored balls and they, and they go everywhere. That's essentially the plan for this asteroid is to smash into the asteroid, give it a little boost of energy, kinetic energy, movement energy, which should increase its speed by about 0.4 millimeters a second, which is tiny, but over time it builds up and builds up and builds up so that if we ever found ourselves in the future in a situation where an asteroid was a threat to Earth, then we would have a, a, a near miss thanks to this change of speed rather than a collision. And the reason that this asteroid has been chosen is because it's getting into the sort of size where we'd start to consider sort of this is a danger zone asteroid. So about 150 meters across is where we start to worry you wouldn't have it burning up in the atmosphere. It would be something that would be a threat to very local damage to populated areas. And if it landed in the sea as well, which is the most likely scenario if we ever did face something like this, because the Earth's surface is 70% water, then it would cause a tsunami or something like that. So it's an ideal candidate because it's not a danger to Earth and it's about the same size as the things we'd be wanting to deflect. 